tonight as Donna from Parks and Recreation. She now stars in Good Girls, which just returned for a second season. Please welcome to The Late Show, Red Up. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking spring time with you. Yes, I really enjoy it. more feathers for you. Exactly. Um, uh, nice to have you on the show for the first Thank time. Thank you. Um, I, I have a quick question. Uh, the name Retta, not um, everybody has just one name. Yeah. That's like uh, Cher, Beyonce, uh -huh. uh, Thor, only the biggest. <laughs> Sting. Where, where'd you get, where'd you get the, where, is Retta short for Loretta? What is it? No, Retta? it's short for Marietta. Well, like and, the town in Georgia? Yes, Marietta? and one of my best friends from college is from Georgia. Um, and they pronounce it Mayretta. And there was a guy in college that I hooked up with once who... <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> mm, and so, like, he, like, when we were hooking up, he kept calling me Retta. And I was like, why are you calling me Retta? <laughs> like, I, I, I mean, I didn't say it because we were, you know, in the, doing the, the stuff. But I was like, <laughs> I, I, like, I'm literally like... Like, I was like, I'm having a good time, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. and then, Remind me to ask you something later. Okay. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so my friends thought it was hilarious. I tell them the story. I was like, and he kept calling me Rudder. And they were like, oh, that's your new name. <laughs> so then they used to call me that in college uh, okay. to, to, like, to be annoying when sure, I we were sure. trying to be annoying. And then, um, so then when I, I started doing stand-up, the first time I did an open mic, the guy was like, well, who's next? I was like, I am. He's like, what's your name? I was like, Marietta Surleaf. He's like, what? I was like, ugh, just Retta. <laughs> and then it's kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. And then when it truly stuck, when I accepted it as my name, um, I, <laughs> I, was, I was leaving North Carolina, and I told my parents, I was like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and try to, you know, do this Hollywood thing. And my mother was like, well, if you do it, do it. Don't half-ass it. Um, she's like, because you're carrying around your father's last name. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not. And I just stuck it right out. Oh, I see. I see. That's very freeing. That's very yeah. freeing. Now, uh, you didn't just leave North Carolina. You, you were pre-med at Duke University. I was. That is not A. That, that's, a, that's, a tough, that's a tough school to get into, uh -huh. and that is a tough, tough major. Yeah. And that's, that, that actually, you know, uh, that, that must have been a tough thing for your parents to hear that you were leaving the track yes. to be a doctor. Yes. Again, my mother was like, don't half-ass it. Because you spent a lot of money on college. Were they disappointed? My father, well, no, they were going to support. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm kind of disappointed. We I need more doctors. Yes. I apologize. Yes. Um, but my, my, my mother, you know, she was like, all right. But my dad was like, whatever you do, just get health insurance. He's like, because if something happens, we can't take care of you. Um, and you can't cure yourself because you're not going to be a doctor. No, anymore. it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I went ahead and did it, but they were supportive because, like, after I started doing, I would get, like, little stand-up things on TV. And I did, I did um, my first thing was Jenny Jones. Remember Jenny Jones had a talk show? Oh, she yeah. was a comedian, but she had a talk yeah, 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 show. Sure. And so she was supporting um, upcoming, up and coming comics. So she had co uh, comics on the show. And my dad, the day it was airing, my dad had a, a barber's appointment. And he went in, and apparently his barbershop watched Jenny Jones. <laughs> so they came, when he came in, they, he had his name, and they were like, Do you have a daughter that does stand up? And he was like, you know, because it was new. He was like, yeah, kind of. And we just saw her on TV. So he was like the cool guy for like a month in the, in the barbershop. That does it. And then he, so he started taping my stuff. And he, would, he, used to, he worked at Conair Corporation. He used to take my videos to work with a sign-out sheet. And if people wanted to see his daughter, they would sign out the tapes. Wow. Yeah. It was like his own little blockbuster, his Retta Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, well, you, you made it. I yeah. mean, you, you were on a hit show. You got a new show now, uh, Good Girls. What is it like? Do you ever do you ever pinch yourself and say, "What am I doing here in Hollywood"? Um, I don't, not necessarily, because I, I kind of, I think I kind of visualized it. But it is cool. Like I get to go to all these events. My favorite pastime is watching um, drunk celebrities. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> now, wait a second. Where do you go? Because I would love to watch that so too. Where the, do you? The, <laughs> So the first time I went to the Golden Globes, I was the drunk celebrity <laughs> because they had Moet on the carpet 
And what are you going to do, very, not drink it? I was very stressed. And right. so afterwards, they had those little, like, flute, the single-handed, like, one. Yeah. So I had two. I made my publicist hold the third. And I was housing it on the carpet because they serve food at the Golden Globes. Of course. Only if you get there before half an hour before the show. So we get there, and they're taking up the plates. There's no food to be had. The only thing on the table is breadsticks and a giant thing of Moet. So Jim O'Hare, who played um, Jerry mm -hmm. on the show, was just pouring me drinks, and I was blasted. <laughs> blasted. So much so to the point, the next day when I went to work, one of the gals at work, um, one of our stand-ins, she was like, I heard you guys had a good time. I was like, yeah. She was like, I heard you met Robert Redford. I was like, where'd you hear I heard Robert Redford? <laughs> I was like, I didn't hear me, Robert Redford. And she was like, Jim said you met Robert Redford. I was like, girl, he is telling stories. That was not me. I did not meet him. We go to do our table read, and I was like, Jim, why'd you tell Hadley that I, you know, met Robert Redford? She's like, bitch, you did. <laughs> and I was like, what really? are you talking about? Yeah. That? That's what he said? <laughs> he did say it, because I always say it. Okay. So then I, I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, remember afterwards, you went and sat at the other table, and you had your feet out. And I was like, I kind of remember that. And someone stepped on your foot. I was like, I remember that. He was like, that was Robert Redford. <laughs> and Robert Redford, he stopped, and I was like, oh, snap. Oh, it's all good, homie. Like, like all cool, whatever. And he was like, I was like, oh yeah, I kind of remember that. And he was like, yeah, bitch, you met Robert Redford and you called him homie. <laughs> Best thing you could do. Yeah. Well, now, uh, uh, Good Girls returned in March for its second season. Of uh, uh, what's going on this season? What what can people expect? Oh, um, there's a little bit of stress because now Ruby, my character, has to pick between her family and her friends. You know, she's been committing the crimes with her friends, um, and now she's gotten caught a little bit by the FBI, and he wants him to turn in her friends. So this is the show in which two friends turn to a life of crime to support Three. themselves. Three, Three friends. Us, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's a comedy, but a it's a dramedy. A dramedy, a crime dramedy. Mm -hmm. Does anyone go to? Uh, Jaility? Does anybody? <laughs> We're are there consequences? That. No. <laughs> We're hoping that. Well, thanks so much for being nice here. Nice to meet you, Steve. Uh, Good Girls airs Sunday nights on NBC. Read it, everybody. We'll be right back.